Hello, I'm Dexter Ang, CEO of Python. Our company is developing the HyperX Situation Awareness and Robotics Human Machine Interface Platform. Our technology aligns with the Army's modernization priority for soldier lethality. Our mission is to harness the power of human intent. The Army has a national defense related mission need in the area of soldier lethality for multi domain operations. Soldiers need SA and HMI solutions that are quick, intuitive, and effective and can be used during any phase of an operation, both during day and night and without interfering with the use of weapons and tools. Our team is engaged with multiple groups to solve this pain point. The Rangers, 19th Special Forces, USASOC, Air Force Special Warfare, and NSW, and we are working with several ST groups, including CCDC, Mastery, IVAS, and Softworks, who have already purchased test and evaluation kits. This video from SOCOM features Python touchless gesture control. How can you increase the capacity of highly capable teams in our rapidly changing environment, especially in light of these soft truths? Humans are more important than hardware. Quality is better than quantity. Special operations forces cannot be mass produced. Competent special operations forces cannot be created after emergencies occur. And most soft operations require non-soft support. Because of these soft truths, more people is not the solution, especially while planning and executing great power competition with near-peer adversaries. Our direction, in short, has been to shift operational focus from mud huts to mega cities. Command, this is Bravo 1 Romeo. Video complete, troops en route to rally point at this time, over. Bravo 1 Romeo, command, good copy. Command, this is Bravo 1 Romeo. Assault force at rally point. Sending drone swarm 1 to contain building 1, over. Bravo 1 Romeo, command, good copy. HyperX provides a combat-ready HMI solution for soldier lethality. Users have touchless control of ATAC, unmanned systems, and augmented reality devices through simple gestures such as arm pointing and lifting up a finger. Pison can support Army modernization priorities including long-range precision fires, next-gen combat vehicles, and network. Our technology today is a wearable sensor designed to capture neuromuscular signals on the surface of the skin which we then combine with a proprietary signal processing and machine learning algorithms. We have five patents and 15 pending. We leverage open standards and Bluetooth 4.2 compliant with the NSA. Our Android app manages the biopotential data stream and has an SDK for ATAC and other subscribed applications. The Bluetooth gain is adjustable and has been tested by EW specialists at Fort Bragg. Our gesture primitives include lifting a finger, swiping thumb, and air swiping left, right, up, and down. Situation awareness and HMI is a $15 billion market. The substitutes include physical interactions, speech recognition, and cameras. Infrared systems produce an IR bloom that enemy forces can quickly perceive, and they fail to perform when soldiers are donning gloves or other PPE. Here, we have a JTAC using a rangefinder, shown on the right side, and on the left shows a user with Python's gest touchless gesture control to input a point of interest into ATAC within a couple of seconds. The Python team works as engineers in the dirt, according to our DevCom customer. In 2020, we demoed to over 100 end users across Army, Air Force, and Navy, participated in six training events, delivered tech, and held a two-day training event with USASOC. Also, a 1067 requirement was passed for our gesture control. Our Boston-based company has 37 team members and growing skilled in science and engineering, business, and product. We have PhDs and principal engineers in hardware, machine learning, and human factors. 
The CTO, David Cipolletta, was a robotics engineer at Charles River Analytics and previously was the U.S. country lead for the Freescale model race car. Our head of algorithms was a director at Thermo Fisher, and our business personnel collectively have over 40 years of experience working with the federal customers and have won hundreds of millions of dollars in contracts. We are supported by our investors, including Bose Corporation and Incutel, and have raised $11 million in VC to support dual-purpose market efforts. Our advisors have expertise in manufacturing, compliance, and acquisitions, and as we plan for transition, we will be filling gaps for a VP of Engineering and a Director of U.S. Government Work. We are developing dual-purpose technology, and our intention is for Pison's technology to reach hundreds of millions of users long-term. We have early adopter customers, including Google, who we have $600,000 in contracts with, and Microsoft, who we have a $100,000 contract with. Boeing is a proposed subcontractor to Pison for augmented reality work. For Galvian, we are a subcontractor for the heads-up display for ATAC. We are listed on Samsung's website as a partner for their phones. And while our commercial relationships are in the early exploration stage, and over time, we will identify the appropriate pathways to launch scalable products. One of our partners at Microsoft HoloLens said, we believe that Python's technology fills a real need in the US DoD market as it enables operators to interact with and control candidate AR without degrading their ability to execute their missions safely and effectively. One of our customers at USASOC said, the potential for the controller will allow operators to have a significant advantage on target by maintaining situational awareness without sacrificing personal security. We found the equipment to be intuitive and a form factor that we can easily incorporate into our loadout. From the USASOC director for requirements, Pison's technology represents not just an improvement, but a game-changing warfighter capability from Brigadier General David A. Harris. Across the DOD and international forces, we see several large market opportunities. The $2 billion IVAS program is our primary goal for augmented reality situational awareness. Phone-based situational awareness programs include TACLAN, SWAC, MCH, and ABMS. The addressable market for these efforts is over $300 million for Python. What is next for us and how can XTech help us reach it. We're executing on a $1 million contract with the Soldier Center on augmented reality. The end customer for the program is the IVAS Human Effectiveness Lead, who we have already demoed and sold prototype kits to. The goal is to get onto the IVAS program record and then springboard a COTS version for HoloLens 3. Pison was selected by the Air Force Strategic Cyber Program. Stratfi is on track for two Air Force programs of record, Ultimately, though, we recognize that the Army is a great home for our technology, and being part of the XTech program has helped us get in front of many Army customers that we would otherwise not have gotten in front of. We are engaged with a Chicago-based contract manufacturer, PDT, to help us achieve MIL standards including 810H, 461G, and 1472G. We will be complying with supply chain, IT security, certifications processes, and we'll be working with the program offices to receive authority to op operate. Why do we do what we do? Pison is a small business founded by MIT and University of Rhode Island graduates. The company has roots in creating technology for people affected by ALS. My mother had ALS and she lost the ability to click a mouse to read eBooks, which was her favorite activity. The underlying thesis of the company is for human intention to extend beyond the physical body and into the digital world. The battlefield is one of the most important domains that we apply our technology to. We have agile rapid prototyping capability with US partners to iterate quickly. As the advancement of AI accelerates, the bottleneck will increasingly be the ability for humans to maintain situation awareness and execute decisions using intuitive and accessible human machine interfaces. Thank you.